lay down the boundary, be clear of the consequences, and set it in gold. Stop being a nagging wife. Hallelujah. The Bible says that a nagging wife is like a leaking faucet. Drop, 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 drop. Who could take that? I would, you could take it. I would sleep the other night and the sink wasn't all the way off in the bathroom that's in the bedroom. And I heard the drop and I tried my best to ignore it. Tried my best to ignore it. And finally I was like, oh, I hate to get out of this bed right now. And I got up and I had just a little tap just to stop it. Fellas, just a little tap will stop it. Fellas, just a little tap would stop the leak. But that drip, 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 it drove me so crazy that I promise you that if it didn't stop by that little push of the handle, I would have became a plumber and took that whole thing apart underneath because it drove me that crazy. And God yet connects that to a metaphorically to a wife that a wife who ain't happy is going to be like a dripping faucet. Why won't you just tap it, fellas? Why won't you, you comply? I don't want to go home because the faucet dripping. I don't want to use the sink in the kitchen because the faucet dripping. I don't want to go in the bedroom because the faucet's dripping. Tap it! Stop the drip! You avoid it. You do everything else but tap the faucet. What do I need to do to stop the drip, baby? Let me just fix it because the drip is driving me insane. These are technicalities. These are postures that our military service uses. 